What's going on over there, guys? Well, Jen, unfortunately, the weather is making it so there's not much going on behind it's us. Not. In the past few years, you would have been able to see balloons going up by you this time. You can see them all kind of Yeah, you can see laying. the envelopes that are laid out behind us, and the envelopes are the actual balloon part of the hot air balloon. Right. So, so you asked what's going on. Not much because <laughs> of the weather, unfortunately. There's a lot of bad weather. It's been raining here a little bit. It's been a little bit windy, too. That wind is very dangerous right. when you do get up there. But there are still still people out here ready to have a good time. Right. Ooh, that, <laughs> let me show you what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on that's just next to us and Colette's going to turn the camera so you can see what's going right. on. These are some of our pilots showing us exactly what it takes to put, blow up that envelope right so that here. you can get it up in the air. Check that out. And then all, wow. I wish you could. I am probably 30 feet from that, and the heat I am feeling from that is just crazy. Now, you can see that there are obviously a lot of other people here than just Colette and I. Those are our pilots and their crew. So, basically, what would happen when they launched is their crew would follow them in a truck and or a car, whatever they're driving behind, and help them get out of the air once they are indeed ready to land. That's what's fun about this festival. It's not just a pilot and whoever's going up in the hot air balloon. There's an entire crew. There to is. help make it happen. Whoa, can you feel it, that? I know. That? It's actually a little bit toasty in my jacket. Yeah, it's pretty hot out here now. <laughs> but I hope you guys got a good shot of that. It is. It flies, what, five to ten feet in the air? How, how high does that go? That 30. goes 30 wow. feet in the air. I clearly don't have a perception of distance but it is it's so hot and it's so powerful powerful enough to fill up these massive balloons right. that just look so beautiful in the sky and even on the ground when they're just getting blown up out here right. last year it was absolutely stunning Chelsea I'm actually very jealous because she was here two years right. ago and she got to go up tell me a little bit about your experience well for those of you who don't know hot air ballooning had always been a dream of mine for years so when I finally got to make that happen it was really surreal it's hard to describe just because it meant so much more to me than than maybe someone else but right. even if you maybe never wanted to go up in a hot air balloon <laughs> it's really one of those experiences that you'll never forget being up high you're really unrestrained you're just standing in a basket which we actually learned is called a gondola yes and you're just kind of dangling there you you feel safe enough to where you can look over the edge and just see the valley in front of you uh, our pilot a couple years ago took us down and dipped us in the water so our feet got wet because the water came unreal. right into the basket now, Colette, I know you're probably pretty disappointed because we were actually hoping that we'd be able to go up and bring it to you live. But right. unfortunately, it's looking like that won't be the case. Better safe than sorry. Although I have to say I might be the bad luck charm here. I mean, last year we mm -hmm. didn't get to go up. We had to stay tethered. Even right. that was amazing because you feel like you're floating. Someone actually described that to me yesterday, and I really like the way they described right. it. They said it's like being on a horse in a merry-go-round, and you don't think that's the real horse. So clearly I'm missing out you're on missing something, out, and I really want to know what that is. But I guess today's just not my day. Yeah, what the balloon meister told us was that the thunderstorms that are coming in from from nearby mm -hmm. are actually what's hindering the uh, being us being able to get oh. up off the ground. It's because of those thunderstorms. And another thing, we've got wildfires that are close right. by, and we're told by the FAA that if they don't have three mile visibility, you can't go up. Mm -hmm. So it is. It's down to a science, and I mean, these people are only going to take you up to have a good time and not to get a little bit frightened right. by that weather. We are, of course, thankful for the rain with yeah. all these fires, but they're kind of putting a damper on my day. <laughs> okay, and really quickly, um, even though we might not be able to go up, we are going to be here live throughout yes. the rest of the morning show. I'll have a live interview with the Balloon Meister in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to toss things to Marcus for weather.